Alright, in this episode we talk about mobility, athleticism, and how are these 16 year olds throwing 90. Stephen Godani, Tim Smith Jr. here at the At Top Velocity, hashtag Pitch Tip Show, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, At Top Velocity, hashtag Pitch Tips, hashtag Baseball Tips, hashtag Scratch Your on the show, Snapchat still blowing up, um, you know, the summer, mid-summer here, we're sweating our booty off, working mm. hard, uh, it's been pretty hot, but it's been pretty awesome, a lot of big camps, yep. unfortunately, we're about to make a move, yeah, we're going to move the facility to a new location. It's gonna be cool, a little bit more of a laboratory than just a gigantic facility, even though we've got uh, kind of two buildings that we're separating the two, but there's gonna be a move going on. So it'll be pretty cool. The scenery's gonna change, there'll be new things to see, it's gonna be more fun. So get ready for that. And if you haven't started booking your 2X, 3X camps, those are almost sold out for the summer. So hurry up and book that. And I uh, look forward to having you down. And uh, let's get started. What's our question for today? Dylan Marvell asks, could you make a video on how to improve, maintain athleticism and mobility, and does being flexible give you an edge when pitching? Okay. Have we not made a million videos? <laughs> I know. Which let's talk about Look what videos. I have a, I have a whole course on it right now. Uh, go to topvelocity.net slash mob for mobility mob and check out the course. But you know, improving mobility, athleticism. What was the other thing? I don't know. Mobility and athleticism. Flexibility, is, flexibility, yeah, flexibility same thing. Edge. I think I'll let Tim talk about that. Um, there you go, Steven. You talk about improving athleticism. What's, uh, what's the key? What do we do here to really improve athleticism? I mean, everything, all the lifting and every, all the drills, everything that we're doing is to improve athleticism. You got to drive your strength up. You got to drive your speed up. And that's all going to, you know, equate to a bigger, stronger, faster athlete. So, you know, we got guys here, you know, squatting weight every day. We got guys power cleaning. We got guys, you know, doing all their plyos. And we put it on Snapchat showing you guys everything that we're doing. But that's what, that's the goal. The goal is to become uh, a better athlete because the, the pitcher on the mound that's throwing a high velocity, uh, they tend to be the better athletes on the field. So that's what we're trying to do. Also, we've got um, a lot of correlations now. I've got over 200 pitchers through my camps over the past four to five years. And we found that the guys that are have the more total body strength, so I got this little way to determine total body strength, they typically throw harder. The guys who jumped higher, vertical jump, threw harder. The guys who jumped far, excuse me, farther, threw harder. The guys who ran faster in a 10 yard sprint, threw harder grip strength. And my data correlated to ball velocity, so. Hip and tunnel rotation. Uh, and then mobility, we'll talk about the mobility, but that's, that's uh, the correlations. It's there, you're right. Pitchers, you need to be more athletic position players you need more, more athletic and what we do is we take an Olympic style approach and we teach you and train you technically to get to the level where you can add a heavy load to your periodization model and uh, over time as we cycle up uh, we work to increase our max percentages and that enhances our uh, field measurements like we had vertical jump and all that and Olympic lifting has been proven to have the most effect on the field with explosive power because it uses both heavy resistance training and explosive type training. That's why we take an Olympic approach. So Tim, talk about what do we do to improve mobility? Because that's obviously a big piece of puzzle. puzzle tell them your experience. Like how important is mobility to you? I mean, giving the same speech, I feel like a pastor, you know, giving the same mobility <laughs> sermon. And mobility I mean, it, it's like, it's so important because that's my biggest issue is I have, I'm just tight and I have all these kinks in the kinetic chain with my hips and I mean I've literally just been working on mobility you know most of the time I've been here and I've only been here for about four or five days and you know we were just going over drill today and you know I'm literally trying to tell my body to do something but just the mobility and you know the, the flexibility is just not there for me to do that so you know in order to get better I mean I just have to keep working at it so doing my stretches my, my mobility work and just you know stressing and stressing mobility and it's huge when you're a pitcher because everything is built from the ground up and so if you have you know a kink in the ankles or somewhere in the triple extension or wherever it is I mean you know you're gonna run into some problems for sure and you'll hit a, 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 a freaking plateau. Uh, plateau quick if the mobility's not there because you can be the strongest guy in the world and if you don't have the athleticism and the mobility for it then yeah for example so, so Tim can jump almost 30 inches uh, off the ground 
in a vertical movement. Uh, even in a linear movement, he can jump about nine feet. Yeah, about nine too. But when we go in a lateral movement, yeah, got nine foot. but when we go in a lateral movement, and he and he tries to jump laterally, where he has to get his his legs abducted and his force vector linear, he can jump probably three inches. Yeah. Like literally, he can't <laughs> literally, jump. Literally. So his abductors, his um, his internal rotators are stuck. Like literally, it's like taking the chicken bone and hitting the end of it. And you feel like it's gonna rip out a socket, and then you're like, okay, now explode. You're like, yeah. your body's like, I can't do it. So that's the problem with mobility. It's like you you might have the vertical power, even the linear power of Tim here, but if you can't get it into a lateral position, which is how we move initially on the mound, now we're not even getting to use what he does well. Exactly. His, his lower half does well, and and that's what's really hurt his ball speed because, and and he feels it. It's like once he can get his body the mobility better to do that, it's gonna be huge. For him and so and one more point i wanted to make was um uh as brent says i mean you can definitely get a lot of flexibility pluses from heavy lifting because i mean he's done a few things on um, just like eccentric resistance and how that has more of an effect on flexibility and mobility than static stretching so i mean if you can get into a deep squat in those different positions then you know you'll definitely have the mobility you need to translate on the mound so and, and unfortunately like a lot of the lateral movements there's not a lot of lifts that'll put us there exactly. so we like use the, use these sleds and you put yourself in a lot of position you got this sled on your hip or on your on your inner thigh and you're having to drive through that sled so it is hard to load a lot of the lateral movements but we have ways of doing it specifically through our drills which are in the 3x programs it's a good point next question jack smith asks how are kids at 16 years old getting up to low 90s, assuming most of them don't really lift? 16 year olds getting to the 90s who don't really lift. It's called genetics, right? Yeah, so genetically, God blessed them with a lot more fast twitch muscle fiber than, than obviously maybe all of us here. Um, also blessed them with more mobility to be able to use those in the different planes of movement, the lateral movement, the rotational movement, transverse movement, the, the linear or sagittal movement. So they have a better, they were, they were put or developed in a better mold genetically, yeah. and they came out in a, in a better genetic uh, predisposition to high velocity pitching. So if you don't have that, if you're not the 16 year old throwing 90, what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do, Steven? Uh, I just, I keep thinking of this. When people ask this, I think of the, the, the uh, Friday Night Lights with uh, Booby Miles, and yeah. he's like, Booby, you didn't lift. And he's like, man, I don't gotta lift. I just gotta show up. Yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's the genetic just... freak. That they, they, man, they were blessed with this gift that they can just show up and do it. But if you don't have it, you gotta train it. You gotta develop it. You develop it, or you're just gonna, you're gonna fall behind those genetic freaks. You gotta train. Uh, to keep developing, yeah, I mean, I, there's no other way to put it. Yeah, you're just going to fall behind if you don't. Right, so you, you, you give up. So it's like if you're sitting here going, well, I'm 16, I don't throw 90. Um, well, I doubt it's one thing. A lot of guys think, well, I just don't move mechanically like them. Of course you don't move mechanically like them because mechanics is what we see you performing the skill and we see that you don't move like them. And why is that happening? Probably because you don't have something, you don't have a tool they don't have. You don't have the mobility piece. You don't have the strength piece, the speed piece, or the motor control piece, to be able to use the kinetic chain efficiently. So yeah, you're gonna have to go into development. If not, you're just gonna quit, right? Uh, what, what, what did old conventional baseball tell you if you didn't throw 90 at 16? You don't have it, you don't got it. You weren't born to do it, son. You just don't have it, right? But we don't believe that anymore. That's a bunch of BS. Like, you can develop it. It's not easy, though. No, no. it's not easy at all. Right. You, you might not see the light at the end of the tunnel for you, Tim, like where you need to get your hips into that lateral position and how it's going to power. But how are you going to know if you even have the ability to do that if you don't show up every day and you don't work exactly. towards that goal? How are you going to know? I mean, I, I wouldn't know if I didn't put the work in and, like I said, like he said, set goals and just, you know, believe that I can get to it. I mean, I wouldn't. I, w I wouldn't know. I mean, you know, and then I might, you know, years down the line regret, you know, maybe not giving it the chance or giving it the go around to try to, you know, see, you know, what potential I had in me. And so, like, a scenario that I kind of look at it as, it's like, you know, how would you get a minivan to, you know, run like a Mustang? You know, you're going to have to take stuff out, put some new parts in, and there you go. Now it has horsepower like a Mustang. It runs like a Mustang, sounds like a Mustang. But the only way you can get that trans... Uh, you know, relation to that is by taking stuff out and adding new things and so it's the same thing with if you don't have it now it can definitely be worked on and you can definitely build up to that if you just have the dedication and uh, I think that's a good analogy the frame yeah. too, so. I like that analogy it's a really good analogy so I think he's making the case 
right there. If, if you don't have the Chapman ability at, at 16, you can either just accept it and walk away, or you can try to turn exactly. it into that Mustang, like uh, like Tim said. And you're still very young, so I mean, I mean, the tip of the iceberg hasn't even been met, or the ceiling hasn't been met for you. So, and I would definitely keep keep chugging after it for sure. Yeah, and so you know, don't give up. You know, that's that's the whole point here. Don't give up. There's exactly. there's a, there's an answer. There's a roadmap. Three X pitching. We give you a roadmap. We we basically tell you you don't have to give up, guys. You just have to be willing to work. All right, good question. Uh, if you have another question, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Snapchat's been big. Topvelocity.net yeah, or top, snap. top Velocity on yeah. Snap. And uh, come down to X3X X Camps. Come and train with us. Uh, finish up. Let's have a good summer before we go off to the fall. Um, at least have something to get us going into the fall so we can have some success going into the spring, going into the summer. Um, and start working now, guys. Pitchers made in the offseason. Position players were made in the offseason. So send us your questions. We answer them on the show. We'll see you on the next episode. Thank you